Hey, what's up you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. You guys have been requesting it, so I thought I'd uh, give you your very first bass lesson. Now, obviously, I'm a guitar player. I just more dabble in the bass, a little bass dabbler. So let's zoom in, and I'm gonna just talk about some basics, and uh, let's get bassin'. All right, here's the bass. Now, first things first, you gotta tune your bass. Uh, it's not gonna sound right if it's not in tune. But I wanna get right to the fun stuff, so there's plenty of videos out there on how to use a clip-on tuner, and you wanna match up to the proper notes, and so that's what I'm gonna start with. Um, now, with bass specifically, even more than guitar, it's gonna be really helpful to be able to find the letter notes on the bass. Starting with the open strings, meaning you don't play anything with your left hand, and by the way, if you've never played anything before, these are frets. The frets are these little metal lines here, but when you say play the first fret, you mean the space, this, this first space here is the first fret, that space is the second fret, third fret, fourth fret, fifth fret, sixth fret, seventh fret. The dots are there to help you start to recognize uh, little marker points, like that second dot's the fifth fret. One, two, three, four, five. Now the, op the, the open string notes, when I play a note like this, four string bass, it goes as follows. It's an E note, the second uh, string down, we're gonna call that an A note when you play that open. Then the next string down is a D, and then the final string down here is a G. And we have a little saying, it's the same on guitar and bass, but there's only four strings on bass, and it's Eddie, eight, dynamite, goodbye. Eddie, eight, dynamite, goodbye. Eddie, E, eight, A, dynamite, D, goodbye, G. E, A, D, G. Now, the, the uh, notes on the E string and the A string are gonna be really, really important. Because if a guitar player says, all right, it's an E power chord, you're gonna wanna be able to know where your E note is on the bass. Because the most important thing about bass is we're playing the roots, uh, the roots of the chords that a guitar player is playing, the roots of the chord that a piano player is playing, etc. And root meaning the lowest foundational note of the chord or the progression. So we wanna be able to kind of start to identify the basic notes. And there's a pretty good way of doing it. I like to think of it this way. I'm gonna show you what's called a whole step. And this is the same on guitar. A whole step is when you play a note and you skip a fret and then go to the next fret. So if I was right here on this dot and I said go a whole step up, you go this way and you skip a fret. So if I'm here and I went a whole step up, I would go to that. That's a whole step up. If I was playing this note and I wanted to go another whole step up, I skip that fret and then go to this one. So that's a whole step. If I were to play any random note on any of the frets or strings, like right here, and I said go a whole step down, it's the same thing. Skip a fret there. So these are whole steps. A whole step from the open is the same idea. You skip the first fret and go to the second fret. So a whole step up from open would be that second fret. Now the other step that we wanna learn is called a half step. A half step is when you go to the next possible fret. So if I was on the fifth fret and I said go a half step up, if I said go a half step down, another half step down, about a whole step down. And then how about a half step down? And how about a whole step down from there? Well, it doesn't exist. The note's not low enough, but we can go a half step down from there, like that. So, so far we have Eddie, eight, dynamite, goodbye. And then we've learned that a whole step is one fret, skipping a fret to the next fret. That's going up because the notes get higher. This is going down because the notes are going lower. 
and we've done whole steps, and we've done half step. All right, so that's our starting point. Now, let's talk about finding the notes on the E string. Now, the notes on any instrument, I have a little, kind of a little formula, and that is this. From one note to another note is a whole step. So from one letter, you know, the notes have letter names, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And to go from one letter to another letter is a whole step, meaning skipping a fret. But there's two spots where it's only a half step. And you'll look on a piano, and it's the same thing. When you see on the piano, there's two spots in the sequence where there's no black key in between. The white, note, the white keys are right next to each other in two spots. It's the same idea. There's two spots where it's only a half step from one letter to the other. So it's B to C and E to F. Those are half steps. All the other letters are whole steps. So here's what I mean. Start with this third fret here. I already know, because I've been playing music, I'm gonna tell you right now, uh, that's a G. And I said from uh, one note to another note is a whole step. So G's the last letter before it starts over to an A. So now A is this fifth fret. So that's an A. Remember when I said Eddie eight, so this is an A, open A string. If I play the A that I found on the E string, it should match up in pitch to the open A string. So watch, A and the open A. You hear how they're the same note? Okay. Go back to this A. Don't worry about memorizing anything, and you can always go back and watch this video again and again. This is an A note right here. Remember I said one note to another note is a whole step. So A up to B is a whole step. A, B. But remember I said there's two spots, B to C and E to F. So this is a B note. B to C is the other half step, so B, C. C to D is a whole step, so D. So that should actually match up in pitch to the D note, Eddie 8 Dynamite. Now D to E is a whole step. And remember the open string was E. And now this is E again. That's called the octave. It means they're same A notes all around on any instrument. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then when you start over to the upper register, the frequency is being doubled. So it's still the same note. So that's an octave. So remember I said B to C, E to F are only half steps? So if this is an open E, that means F is a half step up from the open, so it would be the first fret. So E, half step to F, F to G is a whole step. G to A is a whole step. A to B is a whole step. B to C is a half step. That's one of those spots. C to D, whole step. And then now we get to the octave, D to E, a whole step. Back to open E. So where would F be? It'd be a half step. And then G a whole step, then A again a whole step, then B a whole step, then C a half step, and now we've run out of frets. So if I said, uh, okay, find a B note on the E string, you can at least start by going, okay, I'm just gonna count up that alphabet, uh, open E, E to F's a half step, so F, F to G's a whole step, G to A is a whole step, A to B is a whole step. Okay, seventh fret. So that's a B note. Let's say I wanted to find a B note on the open A string. I do that same alphabet, but now I'm start, I'm, my starting point is an A note. So B to C and E to F are the half steps, and I'm looking for a B note on the A string. So that means uh, open A, 
whole step to B. So be the second fret. And remember, I found a B note on the seventh fret of the low E. So the second fret, A string, B note, should sound exactly the same as the B note I found right here on the seventh fret of the E string. Let's test that theory. And they're the same. So that's how you start to find the notes. Um, it's really important for a bass player to be able to do that, and especially when you're starting out, try and just focus on the E and A to begin with, because those are those low roots that you're going to want. So here's another thing. Some bass players will use a pick like a guitar player. Um, most bass player, like true bass players, would say don't do that and use your fingers. Um, and that technique, which I'm not that great at, but I certainly know what it is, is you, you can rest your thumb right here. This is, these are called the pickups. They pick up the sound of the string vibrating. You can put your thumb right there on the pickup or even just, you know, rest it somewhere, but typically it's on that pickup. And then you use your index and middle finger to alternate picking on the string. Right? So, so that's something you can do right away. Let your fingers do the walking, as Jack Black said in School of Rock. We all love that movie, hopefully. I do, anyway. So you got that. You can do it on the se second string. Now, if you're just starting off, you could use your thumb. It's a softer sound. When you use a pick, it's a little brighter. You hear the attack more then. So I'm going to leave that up to you. Uh, it's like Duff McKagan from Guns N' Roses uses a pick. Uh, plenty of bass players switch around depending on what kind of sound they want. So the truest like bass lesson would tell you to rest your thumb and use your index fingers. But there's lots of variations that you can do. All right, so the next thing I want to do is just show you a little thing you can practice. It's a recognizable little set of tones. And you can do it right here on the fifth fret of the E string and go. And so I'm hitting that fifth fret and then the open E. Now I have a lesson here at Marty Music that's a bunch of easy one string riffs for beginners. All of that in that lesson will translate to the bass. So anything in that lesson you can go and translate it right on the same fret, same strings, and everything. But so you have that. Five, 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 oh. Now you can do it on the A string for practice. Okay, so that's another thing. Now here's a, a really fun riff uh, that's gonna use the open E string. And then we're going to go to the third fret, and let's figure out what note that is. So it's open E, half step to F, whole step to G. So we're playing E, then we're playing G on the third fret, and use the tip of your finger to press down on that third fret. Then we're going to slide it up a whole step, and that's an A note. You get a little rock pro progression that's pretty classic. It's used a, in a lot of different ways, but. So we go one and two and three and four and three and two and three, four and five and two and three and four and three and two and three and four. Take it nice and easy.
when you get that down, next thing you're going to do is you're going to try to use two different fingers on your left hand. So you play that same progression, but when you get to the fifth fret, you can use your ring finger, and when you do the third fret, you use your index finger, and that's going to start your coordination. different combinations, those three notes go together really well. Okay, so now try this. So that's another little blues riff. It's the open, then fifth fret, then open. So that looks like this. Then you do the third fret, then open. So watch. Really slow. Dun, 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 dun. So then we're going to add that little dun, 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 dun. Oh, five, oh, three, oh, 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 as in fret numbers. Oh, 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 five, oh, three, oh, 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 five, oh, three, oh. like that. Let me recap what we did so far, then I recommend you checking out my easy one string riffs right here on the same channel. Uh, so we've got the bass, we've got the neck, we need to tune it to Eddie 8 Dynamite Goodbye. We got frets, we move the frets around to play different notes. Uh, we learned the one note to another note is a whole step, which means skipping a fret except for two spots where it's a half step, which is just the next possible fret. So the half steps are B to C and E to F. All the other spots are whole steps. So if I said, let's find a D note on the E string, we could climb up that formula, E, half step to F, whole step to G, whole step to A, whole step to B, but only a half step to C, and then a whole step to D. And that was our D note. Then we uh, use that formula to be able to find the notes around the E and A string especially. Then we put our thumb on the, pick, uh, on the pickup right here and we can practice both fingers, one finger, we can do a thumb, we can do a pick if we've been playing guitar. All are valid but the truest bass player would do that. Let your fingers do the walking, right? Then I just gave you a little context. Five, 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 oh. Five, 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 oh. Five, 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 oh. Five, 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 oh. You do right here. Then we messed with the open, the third, and the fifth. And if you use your index and ring finger, it starts stretching your fingers out. Right, then we had oh, three, five, three, five, three, oh, three, five, three, five, three, oh, three, five, three, five, three, oh, et cetera. And you're on your way. Rome wasn't built in the day, so you gotta start somewhere. Start with this and try and have some fun. All right, thanks again for watching, you guys. Really appreciate the support. Feel free to subscribe right here to Marty Music. Hit the bell up there, request other lessons and uh, hope to see you again real soon.